Hi, this is Andrew Klein. I'm an occupational therapist and DIR floor time expert training leader. And I am here with you today amongst the trees to talk about the learning tree. So what is the learning tree? Well, the learning tree is a metaphor uh, for bottom-up developmental growth. It's a book written by Stanley Greenspan and Nancy Greenspan. Um, and it describes the way in which we can support children um, using their individual differences and developmental capacities in becoming great learners. So why do we need this metaphor? Well, because it goes against the cultural grain. Um, most of us would like to imagine that learning is a cognitive process that is driven by our own intellect and we are able to use our powers of reason to overcome our feelings and our more uh, innate drives and science has shown that to be wrong. Um, our learning comes from a place of emotion and feeling. And so when we want to support our kids with learning, we need to take their own individual differences into account and we need to use the power of connection and affect. So what does the learning tree look like? Well, in the ground we have the roots. And the roots are our individual differences. That has to do with our sensory processing, and that has to do with our ability to form motor plans, and the way we use our senses to interact with the world around us. Once we come out of the ground, we have the trunk of the tree, and those are the functional, emotional, developmental capacities, which I've spoken about in other videos. Uh, we start with regulation, building to engagement, and then we start to open and close circles of communications with others, and eventually we reach a place where we're able to engage in abstract thinking and higher level intellectual capacities that we want to achieve. And then we have the branches and the fruits of the tree. And that's the end goal. That's our ability to engage in academics and participate in uh, higher level learning and have a sense of worth and self and confidence and all the things we need to go out into the world and succeed. So why do we need to talk about the learning tree? I want to come back to that. Well, because we want to support our kids in the right way. We want to make sure that we are enabling them to be the best learners they can be. And we do that by forming strong connections with them and taking their individual learning profiles into account. Um, that is the starting place for any academic success. So I want you to take this video and go forth and support your kids in the way that is best for them. Go out and meet them where they are. Go out and connect and help them to feel driven and motivated and uh, you will create an amazing learner in the process. Um, that's all for today. It's been wonderful speaking with y'all. Until next time.